Okay. Now we we'll continue doing these exercises from the book. Now we'll do exercise. I finished exercises about internal coefficients. Now we'll do the exercise related to the variation parameters. Let me do the first one. I think these two are easy ones. Let me do it them quickly. First, standard form is so f of x is for e to the power x. Two, we solve the homogeneous. So I have what r square plus three r plus two, which is r plus two times r plus one equals zero. So I have r equal minus two minus one. So I see e minus two x minus x. Okay. So this is my y one. This is my y two. So there the step w of y one y two. That will be what e minus two x minus two e minus two x e minus x minus e use minus x. That give me what minus e use minus three x plus two e use minus three x and that e use minus three x. Okay, w one would be zero f of x which is for e x. And I have e is minus x minus e is minus x. That give me what? Minus 4. W2 will be this e minus 2x minus 2 e is minus 2x. 0 for e x. That will be for e is minus x. For the step u1 prime. That would be W1 over W. W1 is minus 4 over W. That will be minus 4 E3X. That will be W1. So what will be U1? Integral of this. And this is very easy to do. That will be minus four. What's the integral of this? One over three e three x. So it's minus four over three e three x. That will be u one. Okay, u two prime will be w two over w. And that what is what four e is minus x over e minus three x. That will be four e two x. So u two will be the integral of this. And that is what we divide only by two. I have two e two x. So it is y p. He need what he need y p only. Okay, y p will be u one y one plus u two y two. That will be what u one is minus four over three e three x, and y one is e minus two x plus two e two x times y2, which is e is minus x. So that give me minus 4 over 3 e to the power x plus 2 e to the power x, and that 2 over 3 e to the power x, which is the answer. Now I need to solve the second one, y double prime plus 5 y prime minus 14 y. y double prime. What's the equation number? 48. Equals what? 9 e to x. First step, standard form, yes, f of x is 9 e to x. Second step, solve the homogeneous. So I have r square plus 5r minus 14. And that is what? r plus 7 times r minus 2 equals zero. Okay, so I have r, r minus seven and two. So I see c1 e minus seven x plus c2 e two x. 
So this is y1, this is y2. Perfect. Three, I find w's. I have a minus 7x minus 7a minus 7x, a to x, 2a to x. That give me what? 2a minus 5x plus 7 a minus 5x. That will be 9 a minus 5x. That would be W. W1 will be 0, 9 a to x. And this is a to x, 2 a to x. That will be minus 9 a for x. W2, a minus 7x. Minus seven e minus seven x, and that is zero e minus two x e nine e to the power two x. That give me nine e minus five x. U two prime, u one prime, u one prime would be w one over w. What is w one? Minus nine e four x over 9e minus 5x. That will be that will be what? Minus e9x. So it will be u1 integral of this, which is minus 1 over 9e9x. u2 prime will be w2 over w. I think that will be easier. That is 1. Hmm. So U2 is X. So YP will be U1, Y1 plus U2, Y2. And that will be minus 1 over 9, A, 9, X. What is Y1? A minus 7, X. Plus X, U2. That give me minus e to x plus x e to x. So, it's about to eight, yeah. Minus one over nine, that will be one. U two is x. That would be minus one over, yeah, I have minus one over nine here, sorry. Okay, so it's minus one over nine, a to x, minus, plus x, a to the power two x, yeah, a to the power two x, good. 50, let me do 50. Standard form, yes, so f of x, sine hyperbolic to x. It's my first step. Second step, solve the homogeneous. So I see three. So this is y1, this is y2. Find w, w of y1, y2. Be careful with the calculation. That give me what? Two plus two, which is four. Okay. Now find W one. That will be zero. Sine hyperbolic two x. This is e to x. Two e to x. That give me what? Minus e to x sine hyperbolic x. 2x, I mean. Okay. W2 will be what? e minus 2x minus 2e minus 2x. 0 sine hyperbolic 2x. That will be e minus 2x sine hyperbolic 2x. Fourth step. Y1 prime. 
That will be the value one over the value that equal to it. Minus one over four e to x sine hyperbolic to x. I need to grade this. Be careful now. Minus one over four. Integral of this. I'll change this into exponential, and that will do it. So I have e to x minus e minus two x over two dx. That will be minus one over eight. E for x minus one dx. So I have minus one over eight. One over four e for x minus x. That will be u1. u2 prime. That will be w2 over w. And that is e minus 2x over 4. So I have 1 over 4. e minus 2x sine hyperbolic 2x. So it is u2 1 over 4. Integral of this. And what is sine hyperbolic? Is this one. That will get so up 1 over 8, integral of what? 1 minus e minus 4x in the x. So that's 1 over 8. x minus plus now 1 over 4 e minus 4x. That's y2. That's u2. So yb, be careful now, u1 y1 plus u2 y2. I don't know really what minus one over thirty two e four x plus one over eight x all of this times what is my y one e is minus two x plus u two what is one over eight x plus one over thirty two e of minus to x times e to x. Mm -hmm. Let me try to simplify it. That would be what? Minus 1 over 32 e to x plus 1 over 8 x e minus 2 x plus 1 over 8 x e to x plus 1 over 32 e minus 2x. Let me write it this way. I have 1 over 8. Not only 1 over 8. I will have it 1 over 4. x e minus 2x plus e 2x over 2, which is this with this. Correct. For 8x, e is minus 2x plus e 2x. Okay. Now I need to rewrite this. So I have minus 1 over 16 e to x minus e minus 2x over 2. That would make it, yes, minus 1 over 32 plus 1 over 32. So I have what? 1 over 4x cosine hyperbolic 2x minus 1 over 16 sine hyperbolic 2x. And that is the answer. Good. 52, 52, I have pi double prime plus 9, 1, 3x. Let me see what will happen. First step, standard form, yes. So f of x equals sine 3x. Second step, I solve the homogeneous, very clear. So I have r squared. So R plus or minus 3i, so I see. Cosine 3x. Sine 3x. Third step, I find W. This is Y1, this is Y2. So W, Y1, Y2 would be cosine 3x. Minus 3 sine 3x, sine 3x, 3 cosine 3x. That gives me 3 cosine squared plus 3 cosine sine squared. That would be 6. Okay. W1, 
will be zero sine three x. And this is sine three x. Three cosine three x. OK. That is what? That is sine square 3x with minus sign. With the minus sign. The value 2, I think it will be easier. Cosine 3x minus 3 sine 3x. Here I have 0 sine 3x. That will be what? Cosine 3x sine 3x. OK, now we'll do U1 prime W1 over W. So I have minus 1 over 6 integral of sine square 3x dx. How to do that? I'll change it into. Yeah. I'll change it into uh, double angle. So I have one, minus over 6. That will be half minus half cosine 6x dx. And that give me minus 1 over 6. OK. What is this? That will be 3 plus 3, yeah. That will be six. W is three. Why W is three? Yeah, W is three, not six. Sorry. That will be three cosine square plus three sine square, which is three. So W is three, not six. That will be three. And that will be three. So it's minus one over three half x minus half times 1 over 6 sine 6x. Six yeah. That give me what? Minus 1 over 6x plus 1 over 36 sine 6x. Six six. U2 prime is w2 over w that will be 1 over 3 cosine 3x sine 3x so what is u2 will be the integral of this yeah that will be sine 3x cosine 3x dx i'll put two and a half outside so it's 1 over 6 sine 3x sine 6x dx that will be minus 1 over 36 cosine 6x and i need to, uh, plus one i need one plus one what is this U2 is W2. I have this and have zero sine x. That will be. I put two and a half outside. I don't need it. Okay. So YB. This is sine 6x. That's it. That is W2. Okay. UIP will be what? U1, which is minus 1 over 6x plus 1 over 36 sine 6x times times what? Times uh, Y1, which is cosine 3x. 
minus 1 over 36 cosine 6x times sine 3x. Okay, that give me what? Be careful, minus 1 over x cosine 3x plus 1 over 36 sine 6x cosine 3x. Yeah. I don't think I'm mistaken. Okay. Minus. Minus one over thirty six. Cosine six x sine three x. That will be sine the difference. So that will be minus one over x cosine three x. This is sine six x cosine three x minus cosine six x sine three x. That will be sine the difference. So it will be sine three x. Yeah. That will be a plus. 1 over 36 sine 3x. And I predict the mistake somewhere. This is cosine 3x. I don't think I did a mistake. And sine squared. This one is cosine times sine. I pick this sine 3x only. So U2 prime is W2 over W, which is this, which is double angle here. No need to do anything else. Yeah, that would be, yeah, I think it is correct. Okay, you can check it. The idea is very clear. 54, Y double prime plus Y, probably that. Yeah, 50 and 52, yeah. I usually I put two, I solve two every time. Y double prime plus Y. Um, where is the standard form? Is it in a standard form? Yes. F of X is cosecant square X. I think this one is easier. First step. Second step, solve the homogeneous. Very easy. So I see. Y1, Y2. Third step, find W. And give me what? Cosine x minus sine x sine x cosine x that can be one. The value one zero cosecant square x times sine x cosine x that give me what minus sine cosecant square which is minus cosecant x. Okay. The value two would be what cosine minus sine zero cosecant square x. That would be cosine times cosecant square x. Okay, u1 prime w1 over w. That would be what minus cosecant x. So u1 would be what minus len cosecant x minus cotan x. U2 prime would be w2 over w. That would be what? 
cosine x cosine equal to square. So it is u2 will be the integral of this cosine x over sine square x dx. Yeah, I can do this trick. Let u equal sine x. Du is cosine x dx. So I have du over u square, which is minus 1 over u, which is minus cosecant x. Minus 1 over sine x, which is minus cosecant x. Okay, so yp will be u1, y1 plus u2, y2, and that will be minus ln cosecant x minus cotan x. What is y1? Cosine x. Minus cosecant x times sine x. And that is minus ln This is what cosecant so one over sine times sine that will be minus and that will be my answer. Fifty six. And to do this, this one, I have what? I think it's easy one. First standard form, yes. So f of x, x, a, x. To solve the homogeneous. So I have r squared minus 4 equals 0. So I see okay. So this is y1 w of y1, y2. That give me what two plus two. That give me four. And w is four. Okay. W one zero x a x times e two x two e two x. That give me minus x e three x. W two. That will be e minus two x minus two e is minus two x zero x a x. That give me x a x. U1 prime, that will be w1 over w. That will be 1 over 4. x e 3 x. So u1 will be the integral of this. Well, let's use the tabular easy. x e 3 x, 1, 0. So I have minus one over four, x over three, minus one over nine, e three x. That give me what? Minus one over twelve, x e three x. I'm going to get here. Have space here. Minus 1 over 12 x e 3 x plus 1 over 36 e 3 x. That will be u1. u2 prime will be w2 over w. That will be what? 1 over 4 x e x. So it will be u2 is 1 over 4 integral x e x dx. I know that is 1 over 4 x ax minus ax. 
Cut check. It will be x a x minus plus a x minus a x. That would be that would make it cut. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is eos minus x. So be careful. Be careful. This is eos minus x. So use the tablet now to be sure. I have x because I need to be sure about the minus sign. That give me what? 1 over 4 minus x minus 1 eos minus x. So it's minus one over four x is minus x minus one over four is minus x. Now y b will be u one y one plus u two y two. That give me what? What is u one? This times y one. Y one is is minus two x. So I have minus one over twelve x e to the power x plus 1 over 36 e to the power x. This is what, 56? OK. Now we have u2 times y2. I need to multiply by e to the power 2x. That will be minus 1 over 4 x e to the power x minus 1 over 4 e to the power x. This is will be what? That will be what? Minus one over twelve. This is minus three over twelve. Minus four over twelve. So that's minus one over three. X A X. Okay. This one I have one over thirty six. This is minus nine over thirty six. It's minus 8 over 36. Minus 8 over 36 e to the power x. In other words, I can write it minus 1 over 3 x a x minus 2 over 9 e to the power x. And that would be the answer. Yeah. I have one. Four questions to go. Let me try to finish them. You can verify by substitution that this is a complementary function. What do you mean by complementary function? That will be solution of the homogeneous equation. OK. And I know y1 is x and y2, x is minus 1. OK. Now he wants me to solve this equation. And get this. You want me to get this. Yp. You want me to find Yp. OK. Yes, this, this is what he wants. OK, so we'll do it. I have the equation. This is the equation. This is the equation I want to solve. given this. So first step is standard form. No, it's not a standard form. So I will write it in standard form. So it will be my F. Like what you see here. Second. Solution with the homogeneous, I need y1 and y2, and it's given from here. Because this is, a, I don't have constant coefficient, so I cannot solve it as a homogeneous equation. But he gave me the solution for the homogeneous, the complementary function. This is what I need actually for the third step. I need w, y1, y2. That will be x1, x minus 1, minus x is minus 2. Yeah, I should have x is positive somewhere. 
x should be positive. Actually, I'm going to have zero. So it's going to be zero. Okay. So I have what? Minus 2x is minus 1. That will be the problem. Okay. Yeah. Now W1 will be zero. F and this is I have x1, x is minus one, minus x is minus two. That will be minus seventy-two x square. The value two will be what? X one. 0, 72x cubed. That will be 72x at the bar. I'll do the same procedure. The fourth step, y1 prime, w1 over w. That will be what? Minus 72x square over minus 2x is minus 1. That will be what? 36x cubed. So u1 will be what, 9 x to the power 4. Yes, that will be u1. u2 prime will be w2 over w. That is what, 72 x to the power 4 over minus 2 x is minus 1. That will be minus 36 x to the power 5. So it is u2. It's minus 36 over 6. So it will be minus 6 over 4, I mean. That will be minus over 6. That will be minus 6 x to the power 6. That will be u2. So it will be yp u1 y1 plus u2 y2. That give me what? 9x over 4. What is x? What is y1? Times x minus 6x six, to the power 6 times y2, which is x is minus 1. That will be 9x to the power 5 minus 6x six, to the power 5, which is 3x to the power 5, which is this one. So this is correct. I don't need this space. Now we need to solve this using the same method. So first, a standard form, I need f of x. f of x will be what? x cubed over x squared. Second, y1 is x squared, and y2 equal x cubed, that will be x. Okay. Yeah, to be sure that everything is okay. Now I need W, y1, y2, that will be x squared, 2x, x cubed, 3x squared. That will be 3x to the power 4, minus x, 2x to the power 4. That will be x to the power 4, is it? Yeah. 3x to the power 4, minus 2x to the power 4. So W1. 0x, x cubed, 3x squared. That give me minus x to the power 4. W2, that will be what? x squared, 2x, 0x. That give me x cubed. U1 prime. That will be what? Minus x to the power 4 over x to the power 4. That is minus 1. So u1 is minus x. u1 is minus x, yes. u2 prime will be w2 over w. That will be what? x cubed over x to the power 4. That will be 1 over x. So u2 will be an x, absolute value x. X is positive, should be. Yeah, I should write x is positive somewhere. Because I cannot have this, unless x is positive. 
So I'm dividing by x squared. So in x. So what is yb? u1 y1 plus u2 y2. What is u1? Minus x y1 is what x squared. Plus ln x times y2, which y2, which is x cubed. So I have x cubed times ln x minus one. That's the answer. I have two to go. Let me try to do, do, do them quickly. I have what first standard form? No. I need to write it in standard form. So I have f of x will be x to the power half over 9 x square. So it's going to be 1 over 9 x is minus 3 over 2. That will be my f of x. Okay. Y1, x is minus 1 over 3. And y2, x is about 2 over 3. I need to be careful with the fractions. I don't know why you like the fraction. Okay. Third step, w, y1, y2. That will be x is minus 1 over 3. That is minus 1 over 3. x is minus 4 over 3. x2 over 3. That will be 2 over 3. x is minus 1 over 3. Yeah. So I have what, 2 over 3, x is minus 2 over 3, plus 1 over 3, x to the power minus 2 over 3. So I'm getting x to the power minus 2 over 3. That would be w. w1, I have 0, 1 over 9, x is minus 3 over 2. And I have x to the power 2 over 3, 2 over 3, x is minus 1 over 3. Then give me what? 1 over 9, 1 over 9, x to the power, what? 2 over 3, minus 3 over 2. That is what? 4 minus 9, minus 5 over 6. Yeah. Okay. W2. Now it will be x is minus 1 over 3. Minus 1 over 3. X is minus 1 over minus 4 over 3. Will not make a difference. 0, 1 over 9. X is minus 3 over 2. That will be 1 over 9. X minus 1 over 3. Minus 3 over 2. 1 over 9. X to the power. Minus 11 over 6. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll check later. U1 prime will be W1 over W. It's a matter of. So I have what? Fraction X plus minus 5 over 6 over X to the power minus 2 over 3. That will be what? X plus minus five over six plus two over three. X is what? Over six. I have four over six. That will be minus one over six. So it will be U1. It's minus one over nine. I add one. That will be five over six. Multiply by six over five x to the power 5 over 6. And that's over 3, that is 2, this is 3, so I have minus 2 over 15, x to the power 5 over 6, that will be u1. Great. u2 prime, that will be w2 over w, and that is what? 1 over 9, x is minus 11 over 6 over x to the power minus 2 over 3. That gives me 1 over 9, x minus 11 over 6 plus 2 over 3. That gives me 1 over 9, x to the power what? 
United Kingdom. Next to the power. This is 4 over 6, that is minus 7 over 6. So u2 will be 1 over 9. Integral of this, add 1, minus 1 over 6. That will be minus 6. x to the power, minus 1 over 6. That's minus 2 over 3. x to the power, minus 1 over 6. Now, what is my yp? y1, y1, u1, y1, plus u2, y2. What is u1? What is it? Minus 2 over 15, x to the power 5 over 6. And what is u1? x to the power minus 1 over 3. Okay. Minus 2 over 3, x is minus 1 over 6, x to the power 2 over 3. That give me what? Minus 2 over 15. This is 2 over 3. That will be 3 over 6. X to the power half. This is 4 over 6. 3 over 6, which is L6 to the power half. So minus 2 over 3. X to the power half. So I have this is should be over 15. So minus 2, minus 10, minus 12, x to the power half. That give me minus 4 over 5, x to the power half. And that will be my yp. And this is correct answer. This one, I think I did it before. Let me just double check. Instead of wasting time doing it again, x squared minus one. To start with x squared minus one. I think I did it before. Not in the old exams group, I think in the before that. But let me be sure. No, not this one. Oh, I think it's this one, exactly. Yeah, it is this one. X squared minus one, y double prime, minus two x, y double prime, plus two y, equal x squared minus one. And I have x, one plus x squared. Let me double check if it is the one, the same one, then I will not solve. I think we did a good number of questions. Exactly. I have this is y1. This is y2. The same problem. I did it again. I did it before. Done before. So this is the end of the exercises from section 5.5. OK, I think we did good, good numbers. I tried to, to do all of these uh, suggested problems, and also I added some problems from there and there. I will stop the recording, and then I will go to chapter 6. Thank you.